Microjig has been a longtime supporter of Woodworking for Mere Mortals, and I am pleased to announce that they are now a sponsor. If you're a fan of Microjig, leave a comment down below and thank them for their belief in Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Until then, Woodworking for Mere Mortals is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I'm gluing these 10 inch long boards into a block. And with that blocked right now, I can square it up. I'm gonna glue this template onto my block using spray adhesive. All the instructions are on this template and the order you need to do them in. You need to start by folding it along this line. And on the bottom of my block, I'm gonna mark the center of these two holes. And those two little holes will help me line up my two and a quarter inch Forster bit. It's the biggest one I have. And I'm gonna make these about an inch deep. And I'll use a chisel to make those two circles into more of an oval shape. Master of the hand tools. <laughs> now I can glue this base on. I'm using a scrap of paduk wood, but you could use the same species of wood if you want. I think the contrast will be nice. Now I can cut out the overall box shape on my bandsaw. Sanding this smooth is taking a lot of work because that purple heart is really hard. All right, I got most of that sanded down. Now I'm going to cut the back off. I'm just making a mark about an eighth of an inch all around. here I'm cutting out the drawer. I'll slice the front and the back off of the drawer just like I did the back of the box. I'm not going to be able to make this tight turn because I broke my thinner blade. And normally right here is where I would show you the cutting of the inside of that drawer. And it would have been a really cool shot, but for some inexplicable reason, I never shot it. Maybe I was really flustered by that broken bandsaw blade. At any rate, I decided to just recreate it. This is what the inside of that drawer looks like. And I can assure you the shot probably went something like this. It's just a matter of gluing all of these pieces back together. Front and the back of the drawer. I need to seal back up this entry point of the bandsaw. I'll just try to squeeze some glue into that. And glue the back on. Now that it's all dry, I can spend a lot of time sanding and shaping this. I'm gonna see if I can round over some of these edges, make them a little softer. Basically, I just don't want any sharp edges. 
When I cut off the front and the back of the drawer, it removed about an eighth of an inch of the wood so that when it goes down in there, it drops too far. So I've cut just a little piece of wood that I'm gonna glue in the back. And when the drawer goes in, it'll be almost flush. This little heart shape I cut out and I'm gonna use it as a drawer pull. Well, I can tell you that took a lot of work to sand down all of that purple heart nice and smooth. It's a really dense wood and this is mostly end grain. But it's all smooth now, so now I can finish it with a few coats of spray lacquer. And as always, the plans for this project are free. You'll find a link down in the description. If this is your first time here to Woodworking for Mere Mortals, welcome. You should know that I have new woodworking videos every Friday. And I'd really appreciate it if you would take just a moment to subscribe to my channel and spread the word. Tell others about Woodworking for Mere Mortals. And if you really enjoy Woodworking for Mere Mortals, you might want to check out my second channel, my weekly vlog. You can also post pictures of your woodworking projects on my Facebook page, and you can connect with me on Twitter. And of course, don't forget about my website at woodworkingformeremortals.com. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you next Friday.